Jumping in the combat corner. We will, you know, we have episodes within episodes and so forth. But I'm going to jump on this really fast. Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship is Friday night at the Hollywood Hard Rock Hotel and Casino Hard Rock Live. Okay. Three title fights. If you have not been watching Bare Knuckle FC, you are missing some fun ass shit. These dudes, like, they're not, they're, some of them have been in MMA, some of them have been boxers. I don't know if you saw recently, but Jake Paul and Mike Perry are going to be fighting. Mike Perry replaced Mike Tyson. I still think Jake Paul's going to win because I think he's a better boxer than Mike Perry. But Mike Perry right now is the face of bare knuckle boxing. And I think if, bare knuckle, if, if Mike Perry fought Jake Paul in bare knuckle boxing, I think he'd take Jake Paul's head off. It's different, though. It's not boxing. It's savagery. And you cannot cheapen savagery by putting in bullshit rules, right? They are maniacs, and I love every second of it because I don't have to know anyone's name to get excited about what the hell I'm watching because these guys are dogs, and they will come to fight. But, yeah, Mike Perry is fighting Jake Paul on July 20th, I believe it is. That's the fight that's going to be on Netflix my, I, I think that's a lot more exciting a fight than the Mike Tyson garbage that wasn't going to happen because I thought Jake Paul would knock him out. I think a lot that this would be a lot more Jake Paul circling him and jabbing, 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 and holding. He's a little bit bigger. They're fighting at cruiserweight. They're not a fighting at heavyweight like he was going to fight Tyson. So they're fighting at cruiserweight. Um, but Mike Perry's in his prime. He's You can't say that Mike Perry's not in his prime. You can't say that Mike Perry's not tough as shit, you know, uh, but I still think Jake Paul wins the fight. Hello. That, what? So you telling me these people are bare knuckle fighting and they're making money? All these, all these people in the neighborhood I grew up with, I had a couple bare knuckle fights, Rudy, and I, I should be making money too. I, I beat this dude ass in the third grade. I bare knuckled his ass to damn submission in the damn third grade, fourth grade too. I beat his ass again. Fifth grade, he tried to fight me again. Guess what? Beat his ass again. I should be doing some bare knuckle fighting. I know that shit for sure. I can win a couple fights in my neighborhood. Man, I got no. I have people that I'll be winning and bare knuckle fighting, man. Man, damn it. Why y'all ain't tell us we're getting paid for this shit, man? Damn. I mean, hey, you know, they're, hey, you're not too old. No, I'm too old. Okay. No, you're not. There's guys, that are old, there's guys that are older than you. And I can't. All right. All right. all right. Well, that, then that's the problem. You're not, you're not willing to have your face chopped up mm -hmm. with cuts. <laughs> It will get cut the fuck up. <laughs> and then, it's not a matter of if it gets cut up. It's a matter of when it gets cut up. Because you know, it's very, very rare that these guys' faces don't get cut up during one of these fights. Mm -hmm. It's very rare. They get cut up. I'm not doing that shit. Yeah. Um, but these guys are crazy. Like, for real, for real, they're crazy. And they are tough as, tough as fucking as ball, tough as, tough as nails, tough. And they might even be tougher than fucking Derek White. Um, you know... <laughs> Yeah, they're, they're tougher than Terra White. But the, the, the main event is uh, Kai Stewart against Brian El Gallo Duran. Uh, El Gallo is uh, promoted by, as managed by our friends over at All In Management, um, Victor Demesman and his law firm, Demesman in Dover. But All In Management is the actual sports management company. They just also had their first uh, uh, big, they had their own MMA event last Friday. And unfortunately, I was not able to attend. I did want to go, but I had a conference for work that I had my full time job that I was at up in Palm Beach. So I was unable to attend, but it was a fantastic showing for Double Down uh, Fight Championship, um, which they had at the Miami Radisson. Uh, Miami, it's down, it's in by the airport where they have all those, I think that's what it's called. But um, or the Miami Double Tree, whatever they call it. But it's on 72nd and Millam Dairy Road in Miami. Great event. They have videos all over their, all over their Instagram. Um, very proud of those guys. I mean, it, it is so hard to get in that business. It's very expensive. And, and, it, and it takes time to make money. Like you don't make money in, in their first go round. You're going to have to, you're going through, you know, those growing pains. And it's hard because there's lots of those regional promotions. And the fighters, they're fighters. They fight because they want to fight. And um, I want to congratulate them on, on, that, on, that, on that card. I know that they're saying they're talking about doing their next card in September, which I will be at. Please do not schedule it Labor Day weekend because that's still actually August. <laughs> 
But uh, September, I will be there. No question about it. Um, and we will cover that event. So, you know, Bare Knuckle FC, you've got Kai Stewart and Brian Ogayo Duran. Uh, Stewart is 5-0. and He's coming off of a big win over Howard H.D. Davis. Howard H.D. is a dog, man. And um, he had a rough going in that fight. He's come back and, and won his next uh, BKFC fight since then. <clears throat> Duran is, is a 6-0. and Duran is tough, man. Don't let that pink ponytail hairstyle fool you. Those tattoos on his face, that is a tough motherfucker. He won his last fight in the Hard Rock uh, with a knockout over a, a guy who was right ahead of him. You know, real, real tough, dude. I mean, you're going to see a fight between these two. Uh, don't sleep on Kai Stewart, though. Kai Stewart's really good. People thought Kai Stewart was going to lose to HD, and he did not. He dominated that fight. So I expect it to be a great, great fight. If you ask me to pick, I'd pick El Gallo to come away with the victory. But it, it is, this is bare knuckle. Get caught, it lights out. Um, that's the that's the featherweight championship fight. The fight at bantamweight is. Do, 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 let me see, Keith Richardson at four and zero versus Alberto Blas at four and zero. That is the uh, bantamweight championship fight. Uh, both undefeated fighters. Uh, Blas is out of Cuba, so you know being that we're that's your people. people. That's my people. So you know, I mean, I am an American though. So, but. I'm sure this guy Bloss lives in Miami. He must live in Miami for Christ's sakes. I mean, every Cuban lives in Miami now. <laughs> Let's see, where does he live? His name, uh, yeah, he, I, I don't know where he lives. It doesn't say where. Um, he actually won also in February at in Hollywood in his last fight. So uh, going to be another title fight. And then their third title fight is going to be between Jared Warren at 6-2 and two versus Jomi or Homie, J-O-M-I. Homie, I'm, I'm guessing it's Homie. Homie, yeah. the, I'm not gonna say homie the clown. Uh, ho, ho, homie, uh, Esco, Esco Wosa. Don't get your ass beat. I'm gonna get my ass beat, man, right to the computer. Um, I, I'm kidding. Nine, he's nine and one. Um, their 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 face off today was hilarious. Actually, like it was clown like. It was clown like. I mean, but shit. Uh, Esco Wosa is in the Dominican Republic. Uh, Warren's an American. These guys are fighting at light heavy at, at uh, light heavyweight. Light heavyweight for for um for BKFC is one eighty five. So then there's also let me see six twelve. There's twelve total fights in this card, but those those three fights are at the top of the billing. Three title fights. I know tickets are still available, not many. So if you want to go, get on Ticketmaster and go buy your tickets. Because one thing I can tell you is it's different. BKFC is a different type of sport. It is exciting. It's fast. You can't blink. You will, I, I, when I tell you, you blink, it, you turn your head, oh, shit, I missed it. Like, I, I missed the knockout. It, it's that fast. You know, I've been to a few of these events. They're exciting. Again, who cares about their names? You don't know who their names are, but you will find out if you go. Find out if you're watching. If you can't, if you can't go, check it out on their website. Their their annual fee for their website is like fifty dollars, and you get every fight. It's not like the not like UFC where you got to pay eighty five dollars a fucking card. It's fifty dollars for the whole year, and you get every card. So go check it out. Support BKFC because BKFC is a up and coming organization. Conor McGregor bought into it. He's now a part owner. So you're going to see a lot of wild stuff going on with BKFC um, going forward. You know, even beyond this week, you know, they have a – after this fight, they have a fight card July 12th in California. They have another fight in uh, August 3rd in Sturgis, South Dakota. I wonder if they're having the motorcycle race going on, this motorcycle rally going on at the same time. I don't know when that motorcycle rally is in Sturgis, but that would be pretty crazy if they did. Um, August 10th, they're at the Sky Dome in the United Kingdom. So they're going everywhere. They are having event after event after event. And um, yeah, man, it's some good stuff. How long has Bare Knuckle been around? Just This is this is BKFC number 62. Okay. okay. So they've now, I think it's, it's like five years. Okay. Let me see. Let me see when it's, when it started. 2018, six okay. years. Okay. So... They've done a lot real fast, and, okay. and and now you have – there's a lot more fighters coming over. Mike Perry in bare knuckle is exciting as shit. His fight – his win over over Tiago Alves a, a, month or so, a couple months ago in um, Knuckle Mania in, um, in L.A. 
I mean, dude, dude, he's the perfect guy for bare knuckle fight. Perfect. He's perfect. Yep. He's crazy. No. Yep. He's a crazy man who likes to talk. Yep. And and you can't promote without a person who talks. There's so many of these fighters, you know, it doesn't I love the UFC. I love MMA. You have you UFC and MMA are synonymous, right? Because people think MMA, they think the UFC, although there's MMA everywhere. And there's different organizations. But UFC fighters, there there's a certain level of proper to them. Now there are those that are like Connor who will say whatever, Colby Covington say whatever, fighters that will run their mouths, and that's fine. And 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 it's cool at times. But there's a certain because it's mixed martial arts, so many of these guys that were, came up in jiu-jitsu and karate. Did you ever do karate as a kid? Did your no. parents ever put you in that? No, I played football from the age of five. So but people when you're in karate, like the first thing in karate is like it's respect. It's all respect. It's bow. It's 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 you shake. You're 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 not you're not fighting on the offensive. You're fighting to defend yourself. So you're never gonna be the one that's gonna strike first. And that's the thing about MMA is a lot of these guys, especially the Brazilian guys, it's big on respect. So they don't like and those Dagestani dudes like freaking Islam Makachev and Khabib Nurmagomedov and all those guys. And they are respect. Like Dustin Poirier. In their in the face off with Islam Makachev before their fight said he called him a motherfucker. <laughs> we know as Americans what he said. He wasn't calling him a motherfucker like that. Like literally, like you fuck your mother. <laughs> but, uh, but in Dagestan, they take that shit literally like son of a bitch. Mm-hmm. No, I'm not calling your mom a bitch. Like, come on. Yeah, yeah. It's like, just... I'm not calling your mother a bitch. It's a figure of speech, you yeah. know. So, uh, Makachev got really, really upset, you know, and, and and they live on that that code of respect and stuff. So it, it's it is in BKFC. Fuck that man! <laughs> they don't give a fuck. They don't care. Yeah, El Gallo literally knocked the sunglasses off of freaking Ty Stewart's face today to see his because I, I want to see your eyes. Yeah, you know, but it's. It's a trip. I, it's going to be exciting. I think it starts at eight o'clock on on Friday. Okay. Um, you know, so check it out. I'll be watching it at the same time that I'm watching Game Six of the Panthers and Edmonton Oilers. Pray to God, please win my cup. Okay. I cannot. I cannot be the the victim of two three zero situations in two years, and then potentially be in that position. Like, understand? I'm a Yankees fan. I still suffer from two thousand four. 3-0 Red Sox and losing that series. So that's all I picture and all I envision. Okay. If I if the Boston Celtics had beat us last year, uh, yeah. I couldn't I couldn't handle it. And if the Edmonton Oilers come back and beat us, I won't be able to handle it. I already got to deal with one forever. I don't want to deal with another one. I can't do this. Like this is this will make me retire from being a fan of sports. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> so. That's all. That's all we got for Combat Corner. And oh yeah, there is. I'm sorry, there was a UFC fight card on Saturday as well. Um, Robert Whitaker's fighting. That was supposed to be the fight with Islam Makachev. Check it out. It's not, it starts at 12 noon, um, and then I, I think at ABC it starts at three. It doesn't have the excitement of the pop that I was hoping it would have with Makachev. Um, not with Makachev. Kamzat Chamayev. Kamzat Chamayev and Whitaker. It's not going to have that. That is what it is. But I'm waiting for UFC. 303 next week in um in Vegas. But that's all I got for come up from the from Combat Corner. Thank you for watching Come On Now the podcast. Please be sure to subscribe, like, comment and ring that bell so you get up to the minute updates when we publish new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Come On Now Podcast and X and TikTok at Come On Now Pod. Thank you again for supporting this channel. Thank you.